Welcome to the Weather Guru Podcast for this March 5th, 2024, Tuesday edition for the lower 48 forecast. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest interpretation of weather going on in the lower 48 United States. Right now, we're looking at the current radar map here. We can see showers and thunderstorms continue to plague the southeast from the I-95 corridor from Jacksonville up through Savannah, down through the I-10 and the Gulf Coast there. So anywhere coming along I-75, coming up through Gainesville, Ocala, into South Georgia, Radar and into Atlanta. Be very careful. Slick roads are there all the way up through 65 in Nashville, Louisville, Cincinnati, and Columbus there in the Ohio Valley. Showers continue to exit off the coast here, heading up through New England. So if you're in Hartford, uh, Waterbury, uh, the Berkshires of western Massachusetts, and through upstate New York and the Adirondacks and the Green and White Mountains, rain, heavy rain continues to fall there, a cold rain that continue to fall. Now out west we have brief little spotty snow showers west of Denver and Boulder out toward the Steamboat Springs and out toward the Central uh, Falls as well. And then we also have in Northern California a bunch of rain out of Mount Shasta, California and weed and north of San Francisco and, and Sacramento Bay. So that's what we have going on national picture here. As you can see, uh, the middle of the country is clear and warm from Dallas to Oklahoma City up through Kansas and the Dakotas and Nebraska as well. But temperatures are going to be going back to normal here very soon here. As you can see, the National Weather Service has it here. We just have the we just have the no, we just have the uh, flood watch and warnings here in the northeast here. So that's in New Jersey, New York City, into Connecticut and, and Massachusetts as well. And then we also have the blizzard weather winter storm warnings and blizzard warnings in southern Oregon and Idaho, also into uh, Montana as well, Yellowstone Park. But that's confined just to that area. So that's the good news. It's not like the snow is moving out of the high Sierras, um, Lake Tahoe area. They have to dig out from some places 8 to 12 feet of snow. So that's good news for them. And then we have just a brief red flag warning in northeastern New Mexico there, just east of the Raton Pass and I-25 there, dry conditions leading to that uh, necess that necessity. Now, according to the SBC outlook, we also have the storms in the prediction center here. They have marginal risk. That's a 1 out of 5. Anybody east of the Ohio Valley and then also and then also east of the Ohio Valley and then also in the southern tier, we have 2 out of 5. That's a marginal uh, risk there for anybody south of Orlando. So Naples, Miami Beach, and all that area will continue to see that there to come into effect. So that's what we have right now going on for the national picture. Once again, we just have brief garden variety showers. Nothing severe. This will extend along the I-70 corridor, um, the I-65 corridor from Louisville to Nashville, and then the I-75 corridor from Atlanta down south through Gainesville, Florida. Uh, this will continue throughout the evening, but they, all these showers are pushing eastward very fast here, and we shouldn't have to worry about them too much soon. Uh, but it is going to be an unsettled week until the weekend when we finally clear out the rain in the eastern two-thirds of the country, where the temperatures will re rebound and remain a little bit chilly in the 40s and 50s Fahrenheit for most of the people east of Chicago. Um, and then west, out west, they're going to continue to have that ridging effect, and that intermountain snow will continue, but nothing too crazy. Um, no real cold air, no real snow is coming, systems are coming for the next two weeks. So that's the good news that we have here so far as we get closer to the end of winter. So this is a quick update. Be blessed. I'll talk to you very soon. It's Weather Guru. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you. Take care.